The moment James Njoroge Karidi stepped out of the prison gates, family members burst into song. <laughs> they simply couldn't find the right words to bridge a gap that spanned 23 years. Tears flowing freely as they embraced this family member. All around them, emotions running high, as 30 committee prison inmates pardoned by the president tasted freedom. This mother hugging her son outside the prison walls for the first time in 19 years, Karidi's family embracing the return of the firstborn, and inside, an elderly inmate preparing to travel hundreds of miles to his home country, Tanzania, after 29 years away. For Karedi, this was the fulfillment of a dream. He was charged with robbery with violence and sentenced to death 23 years ago, a sentence that was committed to life. Behind bars, he earned a reputation as a skillful carpenter, one of those who made the seats that are now used in parliament, a skill he always hoped to use outside the prison walls. <laughs> And it came to pass. <laughs> the journey different for 46-year-old Peter Ouko. He was convicted of murder in 1998, leaving behind two young children. When his death sentence was commuted to a life sentence, Ouko embraced learning. Next year, he hopes to graduate with a low degree. <laughs> <laughs> but there would be nobody waiting at the gates for 67-year-old Said Kiondo. The Tanzanian national had also been sentenced to death before he was pardoned, celebrating with inmates before he packed up the items he had made through the years, a stove and a few household items to help him start life afresh. On Monday, President Uhuru Kenyatta pardoned 102 inmates serving long sentences across the country on the recommendation of the Power of Mercy Commission. The sentences of 2,747 other death row inmates were commuted, raising hopes that one day they too may walk out of the prison free men. For years they dreamt of this moment when the prison doors would swing shut behind them and they could walk to their freedom. But the inmates who were released must now figure out a way to rejoin the society that they left years ago. Wilkie Sanyawa, Citizen TV at Committee Prison.